The beginning of the answer choices in this question proves to be the best attack point because there are significant differences right here. So this will be the first red flag because accounts is the verb here. But what we can see is that there is a prepositional phrase as a subject and we have to be very careful with prepositional phrases because test takers could get easily distracted by the number of nouns present in the prepositional phrase itself. We have drugs here, we have sales here and we have increases here. But whatever be the prepositional phrase, the main verb will always apply to the main subject. And the subject here is increases, which is plural. So we have a subject verb problem here because accounts is a singular verb. It should have been heavily account. So A goes off by subject verb agreement. Now B reads were what accounted and C just says heavily accounted. Now compare these two answer choices and you will begin to realize that these two words were what are actually just unnecessary words because even if you take them out of the equation the sentence will just read that the increase is heavily accounted. So if there is no impact in meaning by removing these two words this becomes a clear case of redundancy. Extra hence unnecessary words. So B goes off. So C works in this way heavily accounted for the verb is accounted and there is no subject verb problem anyways because the verb is written in the past form and after the clause we have the remainder coming from. Now this is the concept of an absolute modifier because we have a noun plus a noun modifier here. So we have the remainder the noun and the coming which is the present participle modifier for the noun remainder itself and this whole thing becomes an absolute modifier construction and what is the function of an absolute modifier it modifies the whole clause in front of it so increases in the sales accounted for something and the remainder of the increase coming from something else so this makes a perfect clause modifier we can hold on to see now in D and E, instead of accounted, we have comma accounting and which accounted. Now if I say comma accounting, this is a present participle modifier. And if I say which accounted, this becomes a relative clause. But the main problem is that if they are both modifiers, then we see that the subject increases has no main verb in answer choices D and E. So if you look through the rest of the answer choices, we have a while and a with followed by a noun. So one thing that must become pretty clear is that a main verb is missing for the subject increases. So what does this become? These become run on constructions or just sentence fragments. So there is no proper clause construction. D and E go off. This leaves us with the right answer choice. C for Charlie. And also, if you want more information of the absolute modifier, please refer to my explanation of the absolute modifier in question 806. I explain this in detail with a few examples. And I'll throw a link to this question in the description below.